Yo man, so finally I got better, I can make this video. Sorry if I'm a little bit like um, messy all over because I, I, just, I just woke up and even had a shower and I also want to have a shower because I, I slept in that in that bed, I stayed in that bed 24-7 for three days at least. So I'm a, a, a little bit rough in the moment, I want to have a shower, but I wanted to make this video first, okay? So, um, I'm gonna, so the, your question was how to get over sugar addiction. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through the the steps I, I went through when I have my when I had my peak sugar addiction and that is by the way when my whole journey started my whole journey started by defeating sugar that was my first defeat okay there were many things like also being consistent in working out I was doing exercise every day meaning 30 seconds of plank that's a whole other rabbit hole but the the, the first thing that motivated me to change like the first thing that I I decided to change myself what the sugar addiction i think that is one of the best places to start this this was the peak this was the peak of my sugar addiction this this drawer okay so now we, i wrote edible here but back then in 20 how much was 2022 yeah i didn't have any of these stickers and i just had this this, uh, this drawer and there were so many fucking sweet here and now i just have like 90 percent chocolate in case i have to take some vitamin d and some other bullshit there is also look at this this is uh, an uh, old memory uh, old souvenir i left here of my bad times these are uh, some sugary pills like pills made of sugar and some colorants and some some, some pigment i don't fucking know and some, maybe some some flavor i don't know and um yeah so that was my 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 peak and uh, <clears throat> so what did i do and this is basically i don't know if this is even like theoretically correct i don't know if you should do this this is what worked for me so i advise everybody to do this not everybody this is the first actually th this is actually the first time i advise these methods but so this is what i did and for, before telling you what i did and like the actual tools i wanna like you, you know what's what's the funny thing, okay? Because this is the things that that make makes me kind of kind of mad. So there are certain sci scientists and certain doctors, like that make videos on YouTube, and actually argue that fructose and sugar is not addictive, okay? So this is funny to me, maybe also to you, because you you know like it is addictive, okay? It is fucking addictive, and uh, you know they, they actually say, oh, but there is no no proof and there is no uh, you know, actually, sugar is not addictive, uh, like other things, and I, I just, you know, the, 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 there was this video of this debunking of um, a podcast that Dr. Lustig did with uh, Andy Huberman, very two famous videos, I think you know them. So, Dr. L uh, Robert Lustig, which, by the way, is the, the creator of the lecture, uh, the famous lecture, uh, Fructose 2.0, which is the go-to if you want to, uh, you know, stop eating sugar, understand what sugar is and what it does to your body. He goes over all of the information regard, regarding how sugar is ruining your life. So I highly suggest you watch that. I will leave a link in the description. And um, so, yeah, there was this guy that was debunking this very, you know, common... He also brought up one of those studies that says eating cereals, like ultra-processed food cereals, will uh, is correlated to higher lifespan. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, ignore them um so there are people that actually say sugar is not addictive it is fucking stunning to be honest and i want to focus on a specific thing of sugar that is very addictive okay so if you google right now on google rate of delivery okay it is a term used in drugs okay drugs uh, the, the higher uh, the rate of delivery is meaning the the the, the, the quicker the faster a substance hits your brain, the more you, you you will like it, okay? So, it is very similar for, for sugar, because think about this, the faster, the, the glucose, the, the sucrose, okay? Um, table sugar, by the way, table sugar is not, is it, it's basically the, the union of fructose and glucose, okay? There are three main, like, I like to call them, like, elemental sugars, okay? Like, the three fundamental that, when combined, you can create all kinds of sugar. So, there is uh, glucose, Okay, fructose and galactose, not lactose, galactose. Lactose, by the way, is the is the union between glucose and galactose. When you unite them, they are bound together. They are lactose, okay? Guess what fructose and glucose do together? They do sucrose. Sucrose is, th is the table sugar, okay? It's the union between fructose and glucose. So when you 
eat something like table sugar, it is pretty much already digested, it is very processed, it is pure sugar, it hits your brain extremely fast, okay? Uh, you know, if you think about a vegetable, a bell pepper, yeah, sure, it has some sugar, maybe, but it doesn't hit your brain as fast as other sugar. Imagine you have a, a pile of sugar cane, okay? Raw sugar cane. And here you have a pile of the same, like, calories that those sugar canes provide, but refined down to sugar. So which one do you like? They have the same amount of energy, sure, but this is way better, okay? This hits your brain faster, and you like this more, okay? This will not give you the same satisfaction as, as much as it has the same calories and the same sugars as this pile of sugar. This is refined, you like this more, okay? So this is the, the core principle I'm trying to, to convey. And it is true also in drugs, uh, just Google uh, rate of delivery, sugar is has not it doesn't have to be absorbed, it doesn't have to be broken down if you take the, the pure form, so the, the table sugar, that's why it is very addictive in my opinion. So, um, we said that sugar is addictive, and that is, like, defeating this addiction, which you asked me how to do, is the best thing you can do, in my opinion, for your health. So, this is what I did. I started the, the first, there are, like, uh, a few steps. The first step is... Is, by the way, it's also the hardest one, and you have to remove, and this is the unconventional thing I did, everything that is sweet, okay? So, many people will say that it is okay to eat fruit, I also believe so, I'm not saying fruit is bad for you, absolutely, it's completely fine, but, okay, this is what I did. For the first period, I removed anything that would satisfy my sweet tooth, okay? So, this is the thing. The first week is the hardest one, okay? Um, that was the hardest one also for me. Maybe for me it lasted more. Don't, don't, ex don't expect this to be easy, by the way. Like, it, it takes a little bit of effort, okay? But I'm assuming you are willing to take that. And um, other than that, don't eat anything sweet. Just to not satisfy your sweet tooth. Because you'll have uh, so much like motivation to go and eat something sweet. That after the fixed first period of stuff, how long is this first... Uh, step. So uh, I went, to be honest, I went with more, more than a week, but I guess we can dial it, dial it down to the first week. So do one week of not in eating nothing sweet. So no sugar, no sweetness, okay? You are trying to defeat the addiction, okay? This sweet tooth that you always have. So not even sweetness. Don't taste, and you, ha you have to be like a sweet sweetness titos kind of, okay? You ju just have to eat something when you eat something that is not sweet, okay? So don't eat anything sweet. Just do that. Bread. Bread, I mean, yeah, it's easy to digest, it's easy sugars, it's easy carbohydrates. It is not sweet. So I will consider that a go. I, at least I, I think I ate bread when I was in this period. But in general, like, don't eat anything sweet, including fruit, the first period. Okay, after a week, what you will do is you will add back the fruit, okay? Trust me, if you satisfy the sweet, when you have a sweet tooth after the first week, add fruit, eat some fruit. Trust me, you will love, you will love fruit from there on. I, I honestly today to this day I love fruit. I think that's part of the like the, the, the um, a good reason for that is because I went to the to the first period of not eating sugar. If you don't eat sugar and you eat just fruit, okay. I mean when, when I say sugar, if you don't eat like um, processed food that, that contains sugar, you will love fruit. So you will be satisfied with that. Just, just with that. So that is very powerful. I think that the first period of depletion, of completely depletion of sweetness, will just enhance the pleasure that comes from fruit even more. So this is why I guess you can try the the, the first stage. That is at least what I did. That worked for me. And uh, yeah, after you you implement the fruit, it will be kind of easier. Okay, especially again after the first week, you go do that. And you basically, from there on, you become that guy, okay, that guy that just doesn't eat sugar, okay, th this is what happened to me. When I went out with my friends and they got uh, an ice cream, I just didn't get it, okay? Look, no one is gonna get offended if you don't take the ice cream and it's not like, oh, you don't, ah, I made this ice cream, I, I, I don't know, it doesn't make, the, you are buying an ice cream, no one gets offended, okay? If you're on a birthday party and there is this, like, huge industrial cake that, you know, they, they are giving out to everybody, I just don't eat that. It's not that deep, okay? You just don't eat that. Nobody's gonna get offended. You're not hurting anyone. 
you're just doing something good to yourself. You don't have to say like out loud, oh yeah, I'm I'm not eating sugar, so I would not eat this. Ah, fuck, fuck you, everybody. Fuck everybody is is eating sugar. I am better than everyone. No, just you know, shut up. Don't don't take it. Oh, say oh, I'm sorry, I'm uh, I'm doing um um uh, a fucking uh, diabetes test, so I I cannot eat sugar today. Okay, because I have to test my blood sugar later, and I cannot eat sugar. Something like this. Okay. Oh yeah, no, sorry, yeah, I'm not very hungry. I some, okay, you just try not to eat sugar when you are outside or when you are in, in, in the house. No one is forcing you, I think. So unless you are fucking like they are literally torturing you and say you have to eat the the, the you know the, the the pie, the the sweet stuff. I I don't think you are in that situation. I think no one is is in that situation. So as long as you, as you can avoid that, avoid that, and you will like automatically become that guy that just just doesn't eat sugar. And that trust me, that that status just give you so much accountability, okay? Because now you are that guy. Maybe some people will recognize this this thing that you are doing, like, um, wow, this guy is not eating sugar, incredible. But what happened to me is that I went to my to my family's house in Sardinia, not here, I went, like, I went in vacation to my family's house, and they offered me, like, it's, it is very common them to, like, treat guests very well, and when someone is uh, at your house, you just... It's like tradition to oft offer them stuff, okay? And most of the times in Sardinia, they offer sweets, okay? And desserts, like um, maybe my grandmother made some some uh, weird co traditional cookies or some other traditional Sardinian recipe, okay? So they just go and offer it. Uh, they take a tray and they go offer. And I was offered to have some, um, you know, some pastry. I was like, oh, no, thanks. I am not eating sugar this period. And they understood it. They were a bit shocked. Ah, come on, like, just one is not gonna be bad for you. I knew. I knew that I was in that period of my life that I was just not eating sugar. Okay? And this is a very interesting, uh, like, component of clear cut. I explained that later. Let me write it down because I have a bullet list. Uh, clear cut. Very interesting uh, point. So I was just, no, thanks. I'm not gonna eat that. She was right. Just one sweet was not gonna kill me, it was not gonna make me fat, it was not gonna reset my addiction, maybe, I don't know, to be honest. But I just was not eating that, okay? I just wasn't eating sugar. That was simple, okay? So, that gives you accountability. You can also tell them, like, I literally told them, no, sorry, I'm not eating sugar this period, this is something I'm doing now, so, sorry, I'm not eating that. So just go on with that, you have a lot of accountability. And... Um, after you, you, you ate like this for months, for at least one month, okay? I'll be honest with you, you will, honestly, you will see little benefits. You will not see a lot of benefits, okay? Yes, you maybe will notice that your energy levels are better. You notice that you were very addicted to sugar, now you are not anymore. I think the, 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 the moment you realize all the benefits is when you have sugar back, okay? So I I was outside and we just, you know, we, we got some sugar. We got some uh, some ice cream, maybe. And I got it too. I was like, okay, you know what? It's been months, fucking months. I, I'm outside with my friends. There is that this street food event out in my city. So I, I don't remember exactly what what was the, the moment. I, I will have to think about it for a moment. I don't want to waste your time, so... Um, I just ate sugar, and I felt awful, okay? When I ate sugar back after that three months, I don't, honestly have no idea how much time passed since when I didn't have sugar, but first of all, you realized how fucking sweet that was. I was like, holy shit, guys, this is so fucking sweet. They were like, I mean, no, that, that's kind of normal. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I feel this is extremely palatable. What the fuck? They were like... No, I mean, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of normal, you know, uh, interesting. So, I guess that it, that it, that is something. And I I was like, holy shit, this is very sweet, and I immediately felt, um, you know, stomach ache. My stomach was aching a little bit. For the rest of the day, by the way, my energy level was shit again. I noticed all the all the downsides. I was just overall feeling not the best. You will notice, by the way, when you will do this experiment, and you will just not eat sugar for a lot. And that is like something for the next few months, so don't overthink about this, but 
it will happen okay after a few months that you will have sugar back try not to have it but it will happen so notice that when it happens and um, it doesn't need yeah you don't need me to tell you because you will notice yourself because after you you don't have sugar for a lot and you have sugar you notice that you are having sugar so <laughs> it is conscious so you, you will understand that but for me i i noticed the most uh difference when i had sugar back and i felt like shit that was the moment that solidified my my will and effort to not eat sugar again to this day i don't eat sugar i think you have, so the only time i eat sugar you know what when it is okay and by the way if you are doing this like kind of a sweetness detox like this sugar fast the thing i'm about to tell you which uh, i allow myself uh, when i allow myself sugar which is not many times by the way and um, i think you should avoid this if you are doing the initial like sugar fast okay so the only time i do this i i have sh some sugar is by the way i never have sugar for no reason just for fun i never have that the only the on, not not even like there are some guys that say oh i mean once a month it is fine you know Th there are so many fucking um videos I, I was looking at a few videos a few months ago i, I dislike them also they don't show up anymore but th there was this uh this influence this uh, youtuber that was making shows with back when i still uh, watched shorts and um she was making shorts about this topic that there is food like um food disorders like uh, um yes like alimentary disorders no, how are they called? Disorders, you know, like eating eating disorders, okay? And, um, and eating disorders is actually like not wanting to eat shit. I was like, what the fuck? I, I don't think there's any... Like, the, the shots were the stories of these people that uh, saw other guys eating randomly and they were like thinking, she was like uh, speaking her thoughts and this person that was seeing all the people eating random stuff her thoughts said like oh i wish i could eat like that and still be healthy i i never like i eat uh, very clean and uh i will i wish i could eat like them i was like what but i didn't feel like this when i stopped eating sugar i felt extremely proud and i had pride over this like i was like Fuck, oh, i'm wow so i you, you don't have to tell this to everybody you you, you talk to but you kind of feel higher up than other people this sounds very um arrogant it kind of is the truth i'm not saying that it is the truth that you are better than other people but you just feel better like you you feel more disciplined than others because you actually are you, you you just quit an addiction so you, you feel better you feel more you know um accountable than other people so that makes you feel proud and you have pride over that okay so I was like, no, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't feel like this short, like this. This person is portraying the situation. I didn't feel this like this at all. And I think actually, if you stress over what you are eating and you are counting your calories, that's a totally good thing. She was portraying this activity as something negative and something is a eating disorders. And there were countless people in the comments saying, "Oh, thanks, you're helping me uh, defeating my eating disorder." Like you know, kind of like uh, uh, HD. No. DHD, uh, you know, attention disorder in TikTok, um, um, in the TikTok culture, like, they, they tell you you have a, a disease and you believe it, something like that. It felt like this to me, maybe it wasn't, but it just felt sketchy. I was like, no, this is completely bullshit, I don't, I don't agree with this message at all. I actually think that if you, like, if you don't eat sugar, never, it's a good thing for you, okay? This is totally good. I don't think you have to necessarily have cheat days, okay? So I set my, myself this rule. The, because I felt this was higher ROI, um, I only eat sugar if the person that made that sugary dessert, something like my grandmother, she does that which, with much love, and like she, bro, she she can pass away any time at any moment. So I, I I generally want her to feel good. I want to feel good with her. So I will take that fucking sweet that my grandmother, sweet grandmother, made. Okay, this is probably one of the only time I'm, I accept. A sweet from her and by the way I, I say I accept a sweet from her but it's not like I, I binge on that snack I just take one okay just to make her happy because she made she made that with, with much you know her thought and much love with much dedication for me because I'm her nephew and you know I, I, I can't say no sure I did at the beginning I, I don't, honestly I don't always accept because I'm on this thing now but you know if there is a, a very specific situation where the person that made that would be offended if you didn't go ahead you know 
but you know if you're in a birthday party as I said before and there is a, a cake you can easily not eat don't eat that so I don't honestly agree with the statement that you have to you can have cheat days and it is all about balance to be honest I don't think that and this by the way is not scientifically correct maybe but I don't think that uh, you know heroin addict you can have some heroin once a month you know what I'm some stupid why should it be right for sugar you know, when there is a now there is this new drug, you know, fentanyl, fat, fentanyl. How is this called? You know, fentanyl in in America, and uh, I, I don't think that if if a guy is trying to you know get off drugs, he's gonna be given some fentanyl after a, a few months he was clean. No, absolutely not. You fucking don't have it. <laughs> okay, so I don't, honestly, I, it sounds strange to me to have some cheat days and to have some some you know allowing period like oh today i've worked so hard so i will have some sugar no, I, I just don't okay I, I just don't if i have a sweet tooth now i will have fruit that by the way is not giving you fructose it's not giving you sugar in your body because when you eat fruit the fiber creates a gel that prevents the sugar and the fructose to be absorbed by your body but basically that's the stuff you eat from a from a fruit goes mostly goes to the, the path of the intestine that basically has the the mat the gut microbiome the mat <laughs> the, the gut microbiome yeah so when you eat fruit it is kind of fine if you're doing the the initial like first step meaning the week uh, the first week and also avoid that so that you are more grateful when you eat fruit when you add back fruit to your diet just wanted to add a quick note so Honestly, you can do whatever you want with your sugar intake. That is what, like, even me, it, it sounds like I never, never ate sugar. Like, I, I sometimes have it. I don't remember the time, honestly. I generally do not want to eat random junk food. That is not something I do. Even, like, chocolate. I don't have chocolate. But still, like, if if there is some instance you want to really have, uh, have sugar, because, like, maybe you're traveling, you want to taste a, a typical dish or something, okay? I mean, in that case, I also eat that. So I just wanted to clarify, it's not like I never, never eat sugar, okay? That said, for the first period, you, you want to really quit that, I suggest you take that mindset of never eating that, okay? Maybe, like, over time, you will get used to not eating sugar, and you will be able to control it way well. So, yeah, like, just at the beginning, at least, don't eat sugar, and then you can follow your own advice. That is kind of the the, the, the five step. So stop sweet for the for a week. We add fruit after a week. Don't eat anything sweet except uh, you know fruit when you want uh, for uh, one month, three months, as much as you fucking can. There will come a day when you eat sugar back, and you will feel like shit. Okay, and that is the the moment you have to you you will basically decide that sugar is not something good for you and you will come come to terms that you did the best choice you could and you will never go back to sugar don't give in yourself to cravings don't give yourself into cravings i have this rule you set your own rules by the way i'm not your your, your father i have this rule that if my grandmother makes something ex with extremely much love and she is uh, you know she's old and Okay, I will have, I will take one. Okay, still, I'm not binging on that when I have the the chance because I know my addictions. I know that if I give in too much, it, it is probably an excuse for me to eat more sugar. And you know, when you are doing this for a lot of time, like no fab, you just create accountability for yourself. You just become that person, like you personally embody that person that is not eating sugar. You know, I, I want to do a, a quick side comparison with no fab. I've been on no fab for. Uh, one year and something, okay, more than one year. I just don't fab. I'm just that guy. D don't don't get me wrong. I still have urges to the, even to this day. Even obviously way less than before. Honestly, I I kind of never thought about this, but I actually I actually get very few urges. Okay, maybe like when I'm a, a bit bored and I I am uh, on the bed, I'm kind of trying to get sleep uh, as deep. So I get maybe some, hmm, I could be cool if I jerked off. I, ju I just, I, I know I will not, so I just don't, okay? So when you when you do something for a long time, like stop eating sugar, you just embody the person that just doesn't, doesn't eat sugar. You will feel proud of yourself and you will have this level of accountability, okay? So when you become that guy, you just kind of, it is easier, okay? It's done here. The, the, the hardest part is obviously the beginning. So get over the beginning, it will be, you know, um, 
I don't know how to say that like it is downhill like it is easier to to go okay so the first part is uh, is uphill the second part is downhill so it is easier so the first part is hard the second is easier you just become that guy okay so I wanna talk about the clear cut so why I think clear cutting is better than lowering the amount over time okay I've seen someone suggest that a better approach to nofap is reduce the the fabs per month rate okay so the first month uh, you have maybe you do uh, 20 the next month you do 15 now you're you are doing progress right so i don't agree with that it can work surely there are many approaches to defeat, uh, defeat addictions that is surely one of them i think it is simpler not easier but it is more simple to do a clear cut because here's the thing, imagine you are, you, are, you, you didn't like, um, you didn't comply with the, with my rules. So you're trying to quit sugar and you are at a party and there is someone that is offering, offering you a cookie. What, what are you going to say? So if you follow my advice, you're just going to say no. Very simple. Okay. If you're not sure, you're just, oh no, I'm, I'm not going to follow him. I'm just going to, you know, uh, if, um, if I want, uh, I can like sometimes, uh, I mean, depending on the situation, I, I maybe want, I don't want to follow his advice of like never having sugar. So I will maybe depending on the situation, you're just going to think about it. Okay. So if you're at a party and they give you a cookie, you're just going to go, mm, I mean, is this a good time? I mean, I, I didn't have it for a week. So maybe this could, you're going to waste so much mental effort and you're just going to give in easier. Okay. So you're gonna defeat the addiction even longer time uh, like for longer fuck how is that you're you're gonna take more time to defeat yo bro so um the gopro died and so i'm gonna stay here i'm uh, charging it and i lost the the what i was saying so i basically lost the last two minutes of footage i was recording so i will just uh try to clock in back to the flow state i was in and try to keep the the, the thing up so i finished so the, the video finished by saying that you will take longer, it will take longer to finish the addiction, like to defeat the addiction. There are two approaches you can go about defeating it, and there is lowering over time and just doing a clear cut. So my, my idea, as you know, is doing a clear cut is better. Yeah, so it is simpler, I was saying. It is not easy, it is simpler. It is simpler because, think about it, again, you are in a party, you are doing my my method. Someone offers, offers you a, a cookie, but you say, no. Oh, do you want? No. Hey, uh, there is this cake. Uh, my my chef made uh, is is very expensive. Do you want no, uh, no? It's simple. Okay, not not easy by a uh, you know b uh, like willpower point of view, but it is simpler. Okay, you will not stress over that too much. You will be better off that. Okay, so click cut. I think is better than lowering the amount over time. So um, I, I think I, I forgot some points. Maybe I, if I forgot some points, I will try to add that in the description because I, I, I said uh, a few things in the last two minutes that uh, were not recorded, which I honestly don't don't remember. So uh, if I remember them, I will write them in the description. If I don't write in the description, it means I didn't remember them or I just didn't have anything to say. There is one, uh, a few more bon uh, like points I wanted to mention, like a few uh, uh, additional tools you can use, a few bonus tools you can use, and they are... Two tools so the first one is physical accountability so i say physical because i'm not talking because it, it, is, it is different than the accountability you get from being that guy okay i still think that being that guy and by the way you are not gonna be that guy immediately i, I it is hard to just switch the mindset and just be that guy you just have to be over uh, be that guy over time i don't think you, you can click and just become that guy immediately so but you will become eventually and that will is the, like the the biggest accountability uh factor that you will have but at the beginning what you can do if you want i didn't do this but by, by the way i didn't have anyone to do accountability with but i think it, it can still be helpful and you just take a friend and you send each other you know the habit tracker the the classical um you know accountability strategy everybody does you know just have an accountability person if you want we can uh, if you want to do this thing actually if you want to defeat sugar actually by the way tell me in the dm me like write, write me a message i will tell you also a few things and you, you can you can also do accountability with me and um, just you know just be accountable hold yourself accountable with someone that is not yourself okay that will help at the beginning so this is the first tool. The second tool is 
kind of training your willpower, okay? One thing that is strange is that when I stopped eating sugar, I didn't do that like everybody, like, you know, throw away all the food, don't see that, don't see uh, junk food, sorry, don't see uh, sugary food, desserts, processed foods. No, I, I just, I had that in the drawer, okay? You know, the, the drawer, I don't know if you can see that. Let me, let me see if you can see that. Can I zoom? Can I? No, I don't think I can zoom. Uh, I had the drawer there, and uh, there, there was still all the food, okay? I had a lot of candies and chocolates, and uh, I just didn't eat that. It was still there, okay? Unconsciously, by doing that, by, by leaving my food in front of me, I was kind of training my willpower, okay? Because I, I, it, the food was there, but I, I just was not eating. I, I was resisting the temptation to eat that. It was in, next to me, okay? So I also had a strong motive. I also had a, a strong motivation to not do that because I wanted to have abs. So if, you, if you've seen my transformation, like I was a, a little bit chubby, not very fat, 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 but I was still a bit, a bit fat. So I wanted to look better. So I had a strong motivation to... I have basically reached a very low point of my life. I was so pissed off at myself. So I had a strong motivation, but I also was training my willpower by doing that. So uh, I had a strong motivation and I had the food there and I was training my willpower because yeah, I, I just was not eating that. You know how I finish, but you know how I finish the, the, the sweets that were in my closet because now they are, they are not there anymore. So how did they get out of there? So basically, my mother sometimes, or my, my, my father, someone will come into my room and say, oh, Fede, do you have maybe some some uh, some M&Ms? I was like the, the the candy dealer, you know. Um, I just was like, oh, I mean, yes, I have, um, have uh, M&Ms. I have, uh, I have these, I have these, and uh, I just will give it to them. So I give it to them, I gave it to them, and over time I finished the drawer. It was empty, okay? Uh, they, they they came and they said, oh, do you have something like this? No, I don't have anything. Else. I, it is finished. Okay, I, I don't have anything. So yeah, that's, that's kind of it. Uh, it is not there anymore. That is how I train my willpower. These are strong tools if you want to like, take this to the next level. Train your willpower by having the thing in front of you and not eating that. Okay, so I think I mentioned everything. Again, if I think about anything else over the time, over the day, over the few next days, I will let you know. I will write it in the description. I will text you in the in the DMs. Oh yeah, so I, I think I can finally get my fucking deserved shower after how much five days of not showering. So I think I'm gonna have I'm gonna go and have my shower. Um, if you have any question, tell me, bro. Yeah, tell me what you learned. If you will take action, okay. Bye, bro.